I was thinking about this tonight and I decided that I would like to do a video about uh, one of my favorite things to make with polymer clay. And what I'm going to show you how to make today is some of these that I've, I've taken out to show you. And these are light switch plates that I've made at, for my old house. And then we sold the house, but I took the plates down before we showed the house because I didn't want the new owner to get my light switch plates. But you can see, like here you have a, an outlet cover. And I just put like flowers and stuff like that on it or a butterfly or something and I'm just going to show you a few things that I learned by doing these. One of them is really important which is around this area where the I learned it with this one especially around this area where the switch is you really don't want to have anything raised like see how I have this 3D thing because it makes it hard at night to reach for the switch to try to find it. Another thing you don't want to do is like on this one, I put the 3D stuff on this one too, way too close to the outlet itself. So when you try to plug things in, sometimes the outlet, the plugs don't stay in the outlet or they're hard to get in there. But uh, yeah, if you can keep your stuff away from the outer edge of the, the outlet, especially in the middle here. Okay, and the other thing I learned was I, on most of these, I just stuck the clay on them and then baked them. And it seemed to stay okay, but I started to get better results when I started using liquid Sculpey to attach the clay to the light switch plate. And this gold effect, this is just my own personal preference for these. Uh, the goldish color effect that you see here is silver and stuff. I'll show you how I did that. But first I'm going to show you, you know, what clay I like to use for these things. It's the cheapest, it's the easiest to work with, and that's just the original Sculpey. And it comes in these big blocks like this. Sometimes you can buy it in even bigger blocks than just this box right you here. don't want to do is put it in plastic for a really long time because it starts absorbing into the plastic and it gets dry and crumbly. Oh yeah, this is nice and soft. This is perfect. Okay, so I just squeeze it to my hands like this. Now, if you don't like getting this stuff on your hands, you can use um, rubber gloves. Okay, so then I put my most of you who work with polymer clay already, you know what I'm getting ready to do. And stick it in a pasta maker and squeeze it through. Just put it on the biggest, well, which is the lowest setting one. Squeeze it through. And what you want to get, you don't really have to do much with this. So I like about how simple this is. You just get it flat enough and what I do is I'll, I'll keep folding it the opposite way and run it through a flatter piece. Now what you want is, see I'm I'm working with this really yucky looking switch plate here. So I just get it to where it, it covers it all, all the way to the back. Bring it up around this like this and just kind of pull off the excess. Or another thing that you can do is use a knife like an exacto knife and cut it approximately and what I'm working with here is a butcher paper you can also use the tile I have a tile under here but it's got a lot of junk on it so anyway so get yourself a good flat surface like this and just use your fingers to push it down but what you don't want is you don't want it there's another thing I learned is you don't want the clay to be to overlap the edges here and I like to use the Sculpey you can get these at Michael's or wherever. They have like different ends on them, but 